Customers with Office 365 licenses have typically three options to enable external telephony for their end users. The first is to check with their telco provider in region that provides the service either through SIP Direct or the operator console. This might mean that for multinational deployments, the customer may need to work with multiple telco providers. The benefit of this type of deployment is that the end users will have native dialing capability. Native dialing, however, requires that the customer will need to have Microsoft licensing such as E5 or a phone system license added to the Microsoft licensing pool. In addition, they will need to subscribe to a telecom plan from a telco provider to enable outgoing dialing and to receive external calls. The second option is to add a plugin to the Microsoft Teams client and use the plugin functionality to perform external dialing. While this has the benefit of not requiring a change to the Microsoft licensing, the end user experience is not ideal as the chat, video and contacts are separate from the plugin and may or may not be available on the browser or the mobile application. The last option and the one favored by GoTo is the PBX integrated into the native Teams dialer, whereby there is minimal end user adoption requirements in terms of implementation and onboarding. In addition, this approach fills some of the gaps that exist in Microsoft Teams, but are available through PBXs like GoToConnect that have a higher pedigree in business communications in Microsoft. In my demo, I will focus on this approach. Let's start the demo with the end user experience. As you can see, the Microsoft Teams client is used for handling the calls. The dialpad functionality is provided by Microsoft. GoTo provides the external facing number or extension. Now I'm going to show you how an external call coming from my home device is going to ring directly into that Microsoft Teams user by dialing 8073-3139. You will see that I'll get a screen pop and that will be a Microsoft Teams screen pop showing me the contact that I'm calling from, in this case, Michael Messi. When I answer it, I'm actually continuing to use the Microsoft Teams environment. I now continue to uh, perform functions such as placing a call on hold, transferring the call, and interestingly, consulting then transfer. This is interesting because during this time, Microsoft provide dead air, but at GoTo, we actually inject music on hold. This way, external parties don't hang up when they hear that error, thinking there's an error or an issue with the telephone call. I will now launch into a Microsoft Teams on a mobile to show you what the user can provide. Apart from receiving calls, I can also see that I've got an existing call in place. I can hit the join button and transfer to this device, essentially taking the call away from the desktop application to the mobile application. This is in fact the standard functionality of Microsoft Teams and we're not disrupting any of that. You can see that the presence for the end user is continued and when the call hangs up that presence will be updated to be available. In summary, so far you have seen no go to connect at all. Everything has just been native to the Microsoft Teams clients. One of the most difficult things about Microsoft Teams is the onboarding and the ongoing support of the system. To illustrate how GoTo helps, I'll start with an example how it is done on Microsoft and I'll select a dial plan overview from the Microsoft website. I'm selecting a dial plan and here I'm looking at managing and creating dial plans. What I'll find is as I scroll down, I can see that in order to configure it, I actually need to use PowerShell and command line instructions on setting the users up. This is done very differently on GoToConnect. First of all, if I have a look at the dial plan that's created on, the, on a GoToConnect system, and I'll select a, one of the available system plans, you can see it's very graphical. And here, it's very easy for me to understand what's going on. First of all, I'm going to play a clip, for example. Um, this call may be monitored for training purposes. I then go to a schedule 
and I notice that it's 24 by 5. I may want to change it to be a 9 to 5 weekday. It's simply just drag and drop. So when it's open, I'm going to send it to a queue. If it's closed, I'll play an out of hours message. And if it's a holiday scenario, then I'm going to play a holiday message. If I now want to add an auto attendant, then I can embed that into the other system by moving some of the squares around and connecting the dots. So here, I'm going to add two options. Option one is going to send me to the queue and option two is going to leave a voice mode message. So connect that open hour scenario, connect option one and connect option two. Now I'm going to select the sound clip that I'm going to play at the beginning. From the list, I can have a sound clip that I've already pre-recorded and I can search for that. Here I'm going to have a welcome to go to connect. If you know the number, please dial it now. Alternatively, press one for our help desk and press two to leave a message. Through the administration portal, you can also easy, easily manage numbers such as porting the existing numbers and ordering new numbers. The type of numbers that you can have include different area codes. You can have a mobile number, for example, in the Australian market, and you can have international uh, toll numbers. In order to integrate into Microsoft Teams, we have done some specific uh, automation plugins that allow us to synchronize the end users from a GoToConnect perspective directly into Microsoft Teams. This makes it really easy to administer end users. The system also gives you other features such as virtual facts, gives you access to those audio libraries that, uh, that I used previously, and also is able to connect additional handsets such as Yaling, Poly, Cisco, or Astra in order in total, we actually support over 180 different devices. On top of that, we have specialty units, such as loudspeakers, and if you need to have a warehouse and you need to have a horn, then we can support that, or a strobe to indicate there's a telephone ringing. If you have a dial phone, we can add those two to the system as well. All devices, standard SIP. Many of these standard SIP devices may not necessarily be supported by Microsoft Teams. This is where GoToConnect fills some of the gaps. In summary, why go to Connect? Well, we provide native Microsoft Teams user experience, eliminating the need to deploy new applications and reduce training requirements as the end users are already familiar with the product. GoTo is obsessed with uptime. This means that if the Microsoft Team environment stops, you can continue to operate using the SIP handsets, go to applications such as the SIP soft phone, or utilizing the automatic redirection to your cellular network. GoTo also provides enhanced functionality with built-in analytics, optional call center functionality, faxing, call recording, and much, much more. Our fees include synchronization with Microsoft through developed application automation, making the addition of users simple and fast. Our care does not stop with the onboarding, but continues throughout the life of the system. Now, while we have de developed our platform to enable customers to self-help in 95% of the time, our help desk is available 24 by seven at no additional charge. All this translates to better value for customers when they include GoToConnect than not. With call minutes, 24 by seven support, ability to reuse their investments in SIP standard handsets, plus the inclusive features such as effects, queuing, call recording, auto attendance, and call analytics.